This is part two of Vectrex flocking. The flocking simulator being displayed on the Vectrex. This time it's in color. There's a transparent LCD screen in front of the CRT of the Vectrex. Here's a reference display of what's being overlaid. And here is the Vectrex. The uh, CRT is colorized by the transparent LCD. Uh, it is not perfect. On the, when the images get to the edge of the Vectrex, there are some alignment issues. I might be able to correct for that. There are other alignment issues just because of the nature of the Vetrax. You can see in the, in the center of the screen, it's pretty good as it gets to the edges. It, uh, it's not completely aligned. The color overlay is drawing color triangles bigger than the vector triangles to compensate for the misalignments. The trick is trying to get that size right. Too small, but it's more alignment issues. Too big, and when two triangles get close to one another, the colors get sort of blended. You can see also sometimes when the Vectrex has a lot of vectors or vectors are uh, very widely spread, the size, the overall size of the Vectrex screen sort of uh, increases or decreases and that can also cause alignment issues. Overall, I think it works pretty well.